Good morning, and we're back at it again, another day of our daily devotional. We're still in the book of First Samuel, still in chapter 16, and now we're looking at verse 2, and it says this, But Samuel asked, How can I do that? If Saul hears about it, he will kill me. Take a heifer with you, the Lord replied, and say that you have come to make a sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I will show you which of his sons to anoint for me. So Samuel did as the Lord instructed. When he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town came trembling to meet him. What's wrong? they asked. Do you come in peace? Yes, Samuel replied. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Purify yourselves and come with me to sacrifice. Then Samuel performed the purification rite for Jesse and his sons and invited them to sacrifice too. So what's happening here? We just spoke yesterday about Samuel who was a young boy in 1 Samuel chapter 3. We meet him as a young boy. And his mother, Hannah, has given him back unto God because she promised that if God had given her a son, she would turn that child's life over to the Lord. And so Samuel, as a young boy, working in the temple alongside Eli, hears the voice of God. And God speaks to Samuel, telling him his plans for Eli and himself. And then fast forward into chapter 16, we see Samuel is actually established as the prophet, as the man of God that God has called him to. He was actually the advisor to the king Saul. And now Saul has been rejected by God because he has failed to obey God. And so now God is speaking to Samuel and telling him, go anoint. I have a future king coming. It's a young man. I have a young man, a future king that is to come. And I want you to go and anoint him. And Samuel is saying, I'm scared because how can I do this? If the king finds out about this, he'll surely kill me. But God tells him, come on, get up, go do what I've instructed. And so Samuel picks up himself. He calls, he invites Jesse and the men of, and the men of God to come so that they could be a part of this sacrificing service and where he can also identify the young man that God is calling. For many of you looking at this, you've been hearing God's voice calling you. For some of you, God has spoken into your life clearly and has told you he wants to use you for ministry. For others, he has used pastors, he's used Reverend Warner, he's used other ministers to speak into your life and to tell you that God is calling you. And for those of you that would have been called in your youth and denied, the call has not died. It's still attached and God is still calling you to be used of him. Here we see God sending Samuel, who he called as a boy, who he was, who was offered up to him as a boy. He called him, he's used him, and now he's using him to call and identify another young man to be used for the honor and glory of God. You can be used of God to not only give honor and glory to him, but to also identify others in the generations to come after you who are called to be used of God. It's important that you give your heart to be, to be used of God and that you recognize my youth does not disqualify me to be used of God. Matter of fact, God enjoys calling people in their youth. He's calling you today. Why not give him your heart? You've been, or you're a lot older and God called you in your youth and you've denied it. I keep remembering Caleb saying that I was, I'm, I'm still as young as I am now. I'm 80 now, but I'm still as young. I still have the tenacity to go and to achieve and to capture what God has promised. So you may be aged now as well, but you can still do what God has called you to do. For the young and for the old, I'm calling you today. Come on, surrender, give up the fight, and tell God I'm willing to be used of you. Lord, for those that are viewing, help them today to surrender to your will. Surrender to your plan, surrender to your purpose, and help them to be used of you. We thank you. We anoint them for your service and for your will. In Jesus' name, amen.